hello guys welcome to my channel first of all before i start the video i want to wish you guys a happy new year so today in this video i will show you how to install an ssd on the hp pavilion ab 32 tx laptop i purchased this ssd to use it on my pc so this is just for the video purpose i will be installing it uh, on this laptop later on i will take it out and install it on my pc also i do apologize for the video quality as my dslr battery just died out before making this video and since i was on a time limit i had to this was a rust video basically so i bought this uh, western digital green ssd it's a uh, 120 gb since i will have just the windows 10 operating system on it i think 120 gb is fine for it so you will also need this uh, DVD caddy uh, to install your current hard drive. Then you will need your screwdriver set and Windows 10 on a bootable pen drive. You can also clone your current hard drive onto this 120GB uh, uh, SSD. That is if you can shrink down your C drive to 120 or less. I just could not get my C drive to below 120 GB so that's why I'll be installing a fresh uh, copy of Windows 10. Now here you have to take out all the screws visible. There are there will be one screw under this uh, back leg and another screw under this. So basically you have to just take out all the screws that you can see. I have already taken out all these screws so I won't be doing that. Once you are done with taking out all these screws, take out your DVD drive. Then all you need to do is flip your laptop over and you need a credit card or any type of card to open up this laptop from the front. Try and be gentle with it or you might break uh, one of the locks which uh, holds the back cover and the front uh, panel together so once you work your way around it it should come loose of the front panel there you go now let's uh, take out the hard drive that uh, came with the laptop in my case it's a one terabyte 5200 rpm hard drive just unplug this uh, cable that is connected to the hard drive and you will need this uh, side uh, whatever you call it to hold the ssd in place in the laptop the ssd comes in a very simple and basic packaging i mean there was no seal or anything and it just comes uh, wrapped in this plastic uh, that has a seal actually Now you need to put this uh, thing on the SSD that we took off, took out from the hard drive. Now just uh, connect this uh, cable and we are done with installing the SSD. Now you need to put the back cover on. I did not put these screws uh, just in case if I have to open the laptop again. Now you need to install the, the hard hard drive that we took out from the laptop. We need to install that uh, onto the DVD caddy that we purchased separately just for this purpose. I will leave links in the description for all these items. So please do check them out. We need to take out this uh, front panel of the DVD drive and this uh, behind thing and attach them to the DVD caddy.
you need a pin for this next step to open up this uh, DVD drive as it's locked so all you need to do is just put this pin into that small hole and it will open up now to take out this uh, front uh, panel uh, there are some notches that you have to unlock so that the front uh, panel comes free so be a bit gentle with it the this one comes out easily so yeah that's it but this the next one is a bit difficult as i had a hard time uh, setting it free from the dvd drive so do be gentle with it and it should come out easily now we need to fit this uh, front panel onto the dvd carry all you need to do is just match the holes and push down on it and it should sit in place now you need to install the hard drive that we took out from the laptop onto this uh, dvd caddy just uh, align it and uh, push down on it so that it uh, fits in well and now to tighten it even more there are this screws on both sides like there are two screws on each side that you need to tighten once you're done with it uh, just keep it aside don't put it in the laptop yet as you might uh, face some issues with installing windows onto the ssd because i did try that and i did face some issues and later on i had to redo the installation process now to install windows you need the bootable pen drive and then you need to start your pc and get into the bios now for this uh, laptop i had to hit f10 to get into the bios once you're in the bios just uh, change the boot, boot order to usb hard drive or whatever option that is available once the laptop reboots it will boot on to the pen drive and uh, it will take you to the installation process so just follow the on-screen instructions select your correct options and go on with the installation process the installation process takes around five minutes or so i didn't check the exact time but i think it was around five minutes now that the installation is done let's do some basic tests like shutdown test restart test and startup test so for now we will do the shutdown test so it took around six seconds to shut down now let's do the startup test and around nine seconds to boot into windows now let's uh, restart the laptop and see how long it takes to restart but do mind that there is nothing installed on this it's just windows so once you have more apps and programs it might take longer but given that it's just 120 gb ssd i don't think i will be installing much things on this so it took around 16 seconds to restart now let's install the hard drive into the dvd drive bay and let's see how that works or if it even works so let me just uh, boot the laptop the first time that i uh, started the laptop for some reason it could not detect the dvd drive I mean the hard drive into the DVD drive so I did check device manager and everything it was not showing up so all I did was just uh, restart the laptop again and after that it was showing 
so I did restart it a couple of times and it did show every time as you can see the D E and F drive those are the partitions that are that are there on the hard drive and the C drive is just the SSD so as you can see it is uh, showing up now and I, as I said I did restart a couple of times and it did show up each and every time so now what I will do is I will just try and copy something from the hard drive to the SSD and see how long it takes so this is around uh, 5.41 GB of files that I will try it and transfer and see what speed it gives us wow over a GB of transfer speed oh it's coming down so it's hovering at around 99 to 100 MB yeah so that is the I guess the read speed from the uh, DVD drive bay I guess that is all it can manage around 100 MB per second now let's copy the same files to the hard drive that is in the DVD drive bay Oh wow, even this started out at 1 GB but it's, it's coming down now. So I guess if you have smaller files like under a GB or so that will get transferred like very quickly. I'm just guessing, I don't know. So this is now at like 40 MB PS. I guess that's the right speed via the DVD caddy I mean via the DVD drive bay so that is all it can manage I guess 40 45 mbps write speed which is still not bad I mean it's yeah it's not that bad considering that uh, we are using it in the DVD drive bay which it is not meant for so this speed is good enough I mean just imagine co copying something from a DVD to the hard drive I think the speed is way less I think it's like under 10 mbps sometimes 3 4 mbps which is very bad that's all guys for this video I will be taking out this SSD and installing it in my PC so i won't be having i mean running this ssd into this laptop that's why i did not format the original hard drive i just left it as it is i will also leave links in the description for the ssd and the dvd drive caddy so please do check them out see you guys in the next video peace thank you guys for watching my video if you like the video please hit the like and subscribe button if you dislike the video hit the dislike button peace